it would be fun to do something a little bit different and try and do a prank. I don't really like pranks, but I thought this prank would be funny and see how he react to try and prank my husband with my breast milk. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to put it in his cereal and see how that goes, see if he notices a difference. You notice anything different about your cereal? <laughs> it's breast milk. I'm gonna give you guys a full one year update on Nola and her breastfeeding and how we're doing. Full kind of pearlescent looking stone. But it's not a stone. It is not a stone, you guys. This is my actual real breast milk in this ring. So this ring is so in the night you wake me up when the sun goes down. Feelings right you wake me up when the sun goes down sleepless nights you wake me up when the sun goes down i can't help it baby not myself when the sun goes down It is milk.
Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, this morning you guys saw that the kids had cereal. I finally got myself dressed and I'm having my coffee. It's iced coffee though, so it's been sitting in the freezer for a little bit. <laughs> the kids are just running around. It's been a morning. Thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different and try and do a prank. I don't really like pranks, but I thought this prank would be funny and see how he reacts. So from the title, you guys see that we are going to try and prank my husband with my breast milk. Let's see how that goes. I already know he doesn't think it tastes bad or anything. If anything, he kind of likes it, but oh, thank you, baby. He just brought me my phone. Thank you, Noah. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to put it in his cereal and see how that goes, see if he notices a difference. I um, used my Hakka last night to get as much milk as I could as possible, and I might have to mix it with a little bit of regular milk. We'll see if I have enough to make like a whole bowl of cereal. So this will be really interesting to see if he like notices the difference or says anything. So yeah, that's what we're doing in today's vlog. I guess this whole vlog is like cereal based because the kids ate cereal today. It's just a cereal day. But hey, cereal's easy and I, it's easy. What can I say? Mom is feeling lazy today. So let's try to get this cereal ready and see what happens. I forgot that I need the cereal because I keep it in this cabinet and I just like closed it. So I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> So he was just saying that he's hungry, so honestly, this is perfect. I'm just gonna make him something real quick and give him some cereal because I told him I'm not gonna like cook or anything, so <laughs> we will see what his reaction is, if he even has a reaction. So this is the breast milk that I have, and I also have this, so hopefully that makes a bowl of cereal. We'll see. But um, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and pour this cereal and give it to him because he's hungry. Yeah, I don't want to make too big of a bowl. Oh shit, he's coming. We need more milk. So we're going to take this. There you go. That's enough, y'all. We have enough milk. Are we going to play a joke on daddy? A daddy? Mm-hmm. You think he's going to eat the cereal? All right, you guys, let's go. Come on, Nola. All right, babe. You said you're hungry. What the hell about this bowl? Why is it not in the bowl? Noah, get over here. Hi. Sit next to Daddy. Where's Daddy? Where are you? <laughs> you notice anything different about your cereal? Where are you? We used a different milk than normal. Cool. Cool? You don't even care? It tastes normal. It tastes normal? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's breast milk. <laughs> you don't care that you're just eating a whole bowl of breast milk cereal right now? <laughs> no? You are so not reactive. I can't. <laughs> I love it. See y'all? He likes it. I don't even know. So we aren't just vlogging today. I was trying to prank you. We were trying to prank you. Nola. Well, he likes it, y'all. Basically took over the cereal bowl. He said he wanted bacon, so he's going to make bacon. But he said it tasted not different at all, and he was not surprised. Like, I told you guys, he likes breast milk. I mean, breast milk has a lot of good um, health benefits, though. 
I saw this one guy that was using breast milk to cure his cancer, you guys, on this video. And like he had all the statistic, like proof. It was crazy. It was really crazy. It's like he had cancer and then he was drinking like four ounces of breast milk a day and then cancer went away and then he stopped drinking the breast milk and then it came back and then he started drinking it again every day <laughs> and then it was gone. I was like, that's amazing. Like, I'm not saying breast milk cures cancer, but I'm just saying that it can cure a lot of things, even really good for stretch marks, y'all. But yeah, we love breast milk in this house, obviously. You want some too? You acting like you want some, but then you don't want any. It's your mama milk. No, she wants her actual mama milk. She wants to nurse, y'all. So I guess I'm just gonna feed Noah the rest of this cereal. D ate most of it. But we don't want to put any liquid gold to waste, okay? We want this consumed. It took me forever to hand express out of the haka for this, okay? A whole milk, a whole bowl of cereal. Is it good? Yeah. You remember your mama's milk? You haven't had it in a while. Yeah, it's good. Good. <laughs> now you like it? You recognize it's your mama milk? She doesn't like any other, yeah, any other milk besides my milk, y'all, so. This is perfect for her. That's why she had dry cereal. That's why she had dry cereal earlier. Get one. High five. Woo, good job. Anyway, since I'm sitting here breastfeeding Nola, it seems like this <laughs> video is all around breast milk, so I thought I would give you guys a full one-year update on Nola and her breastfeeding and how we're doing. So it's been a whole year and a half of exclusively breastfeeding, and the journey has been, you guys, so good, but it's very, you guys already know, breastfeeding is so challenging at times you just feel like you are always being needed which is is fine because i'm her mom but it's just challenging at times because she always wants to nurse when you're trying to get things done so there's that um she still nurses you guys all throughout the day and still throughout the night so really not much has changed at all with our nursing it's still the same as it was when she was like six months four months it's the same she's not nursing any less she might even be nursing a little more, y'all, so. Yeah, that's really the update on that. She still eats all her solid foods, but she always wants to nurse after, and she always wants to be nursed to sleep as well. She doesn't really self-soothe, which is a problem for me. Noah's really good at self-soothing, but she's not. I think it's because I pumped with Noah, and with her, I only exclusively mouth to breast so it's like you guys she depends on me to always put her to sleep by nursing which is kind of a hassle sometimes like i wish she could sometimes sell soon but i'm so grateful to be able to breastfeed this long like i said we're going on a year and a half and i don't know when i'm planning on weaning her i don't know you guys because she's not a huge fan of the sippy cup she knows how to drink out of a straw so i'm probably gonna get her like one of those straw like sippy cups but and see how that goes she doesn't drink much water it's like almost for the most part all breast milk she'll have some sips of my water throughout the day but she doesn't like to just drink water on her own or drink in a sippy cup so there's that she just likes her mama milk so much y'all so i don't really know when i plan on weaning her i get that question a lot I'm just gonna keep going until, well, I don't wanna like nurse her till she's like four or something, so we're gonna have to figure something out. But I'll let you guys know how the weaning process goes whenever we get to that stage of life. But as of right now, she is just loving her mama's milk, and that's just that. So, yeah, <laughs> that's just where we're at. And I'm gonna continue to keep nursing her as long as she wants to nurse, and just go from there, honestly. Huh. You playing with mama's necklaces? Because I really do believe like breastfeeding is so beautiful, such an amazing thing, but it can be so just 
you know, it takes a lot of dedication. A lot of dedication. You're sitting in this spot a lot of the time throughout the day doing exactly what I'm doing now. Nola, don't break my necklaces. You're getting feet and hands shoved in your mouth while she's nursing. She loves to do that too. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so that's where we're at. That's the one year update or one and a half year update. I know I gave you guys a little update in my breastfeeding must-haves video. If you guys want to know any of my breastfeeding favorites, I wish I had my nursing pillow right now. It's actually with my cousin. I'm letting her borrow it to see if she likes it. And if she likes it, I might either just let her keep it or buy her one, whatever. But I'm missing my nursing pillow. I have been for the past few weeks, and I cannot wait to get it back or buy a new one because this girl is heavy. But if you guys want to know all my breastfeeding must-haves, because I have more than a few of them, go check out that video. It should be up by now. And, yeah, so. <laughs> Dee's reaction, I knew he probably wasn't going to react, like, super crazy, because, like I said, he likes breast milk, you guys. But I wanted to see if he could taste the difference between regular milk and not regular milk, so I thought that was funny. But he had no reaction. He's like, it's good. It's regular milk. Like, what are you... He's like, it, what are you talking about? So he really didn't have a reaction. He's like, oh, cool, it's breast milk. Like, I told y'all he likes breast milk. So I just wanted to see if he was going to notice the difference between regular milk and breast milk. And he said it was good. So I, I don't even know what to say. But he's not a really reactive person. So he's just really kind of go with the flow all the time. So <laughs> it's hard to get a reaction out of him. But. I hope you guys enjoyed that little prank or whatever, but we're going to get on with the rest of our day and bring y'all along. Alright you guys, so I thought since this whole video has been kind of like breast milk inspired, I guess you would say, I would share with you. I haven't shared this with you, I don't think, on here on, um, on YouTube, but... I have a breast milk ring. Oh, I did share it in my Valentine's Day gift ideas, but I hadn't shown you guys it because the baby was sleeping and I didn't want to come in here and wake her up. So I thought I would share with you guys if you guys are interested in anything like this. So it looks like this. It's so, so pretty. Yeah, so it looks like this. And that is my real... It's just like an opal kind of pearlescent looking stone, but it's not a stone. It is not a stone, you guys. This is my actual real breast milk in this ring. So this ring is so special, definitely a keepsake. I will leave their link down below if you guys want to get one for yourself, but you guys, I am obsessed and I want to order more. I want to store breast milk just to order more breast milk jewelry they have like earrings you could do they have necklaces they have rings obviously um they have it where you could put like little pieces of hair if you wanted to do something like that even ashes you guys so cremation ashes so if you have a loved one and you want to make it into something special always keep them on you you can do that too which is amazing i love that idea for keepsake reasons and this is something that you will always keep and love in their good quality i love um oh the brand is called Mil honey milk and honey breast milk jewelry they're on instagram like i said i'll leave their link down below not sponsored or anything like that i just thought i would share it with you guys um because i was talking about it on ig and some people were like what's well, like breast milk jewelry or whatever so i just thought i would pop on here and just share it with you guys because i am obsessed i've had it now for probably um, I don't know like four or five months now a little bit about the process though Also a little bit about my ring and the style that I chose just in case you're wondering it is the oval rose gold um, Ring and that's really all the oh and I also chose like the little pearl option so you can have them add a little bit of pearl lesson to it so I definitely did that and Yeah, so oh and then I also got the hammered band if you guys can see that it's not just like a normal straight across band. Um, it has like little details in it that has like hammering to it. So it's not just flat. And yeah, you guys, so that's my breast milk ring. Process is a little bit different. Like, cause you're like, how do they get my breast milk? So what you do is you buy the jewelry that you want. So you buy the jewelry that you want and then they 
give you a whole bunch of instructions on how to do it the instructions are instructions are really easy they want you to like double bag the breast milk they only need about like this much breast milk like they don't need a lot and you put it in um breast milk storage bags and they want you to double bag it and then i think you put it in a ziploc if you guys purchase they will send you all the info all the deets and you will know how to do it and then you just ship it ups and they get it and then they um make you the ring now it is a long waiting process i will say that it took like nine weeks to actually get my ring which was a little eh but i mean it's something you're gonna keep forever and it's super special and so different i know i've told some people in my personal life they're like breast milk what jewelry like you you wear that i'm like yes girl like this is something that i can always keep and remember our journey by just in case i don't have any more kids or whatever you guys know i'm like huge advocate for breastfeeding if you can but if you can't like or don't want to that's totally fine mama too like no judgment it's all good because it's not for everybody but um i just wanted to have something to remember my journey by and that's what i decided to do and i might do more in the future so we'll see and if i do do more in the future i will definitely share share it with you guys and i will share the process next time because for some reason i didn't vlog the process of me actually sending it in or doing it or share that experience for whatever reason i didn't even share the ring when i got it i don't know why i just didn't but i'm doing it now so yeah you guys um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to end it here. I'm filming some other content as well today. So I'm just going to end this vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed Dee's lackluster reaction to eating, drinking breast milk. He is so funny. I love him. But thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, you guys.